Thank you, Chairman Fernandez and Ranking Member Young for holding this hearing today. And thank you to the panel for your testimony. I appreciate the efforts of everyone here to address these important infrastructure issues. As you may know, the LBJ Hospital in my home district of American Samoa is in dire need of replacement or repair. So I can acutely relate to some of the challenges Indian tribes and Alaska natives face when there's a need for health infrastructure. Uh, Ms. Stimfel, in your, in your testimony, you call for infrastructure investment and upgrades without regulatory hurdles or delay. Could you elaborate on some existing regulatory hurdles that prevent you from complete, completely completing critical work done? And, yes, and as, a, as a follow up, do you believe we should address these hurdles in a final infrastructure package? Yes, thank you for the question. And I, I do believe that the opportunity and the political courage and the will is, is now. And we have the ability to serve our unserved communities. For the Indian Health Service, um, the re regulatory requir requirements are cost match requirements and cost caps. The, there's a cost cap for IHS sanitation deficiency system at 235000 per home. In Alaska, our unserved communities, it costs Three hundred fifty to seven hundred fifty thousand to connect our un our unserved homes. So we are ineligible for the funding that Congress appropriates, and um, it's going to take innovation and coordination to reduce the cost of construction. So we we know we have the capability to do that through asset management, through IT of, of our systems. We want to know every pipe, every wedge, every every nut and bolt what the lifespan of um, our, our infrastructure is so that we create some robust maintenance plans and really coordinate with other um, housing and road development. So the, the two main IHS uh, prohibitors are cost requirements, cost match, local match requirements for ineligible structures, and those are public structures like tribal offices and cost caps. So if if you were to pass a bill without those tomorrow and we can prioritize service to unserved communities, we'll make a dent in the in the need and we'll make a dent in innovation. I guarantee you that if if we serve Alaska Native villages, we'll create jobs in America. Everything we order is from the lower 48 and it gets shipped up. I hope I answered your question. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. I yield back the balance of my time.